It's about an hour later, but I almost forgot to start the vlog for uh, for Wednesday, October 14th. And I think I'm going to have to sort out some editing issues where, uh, once again, on the weekend, I kind of missed a couple of days. My days got confused. Uh, the date got confused. And uh, so I do have to go back and correct some, uh, correct some errors. Just... It's, uh, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think the uh, errors are correctable. But if you see these errors, that, that that's what happens. Is, is that is that once you do this for 24 hours a day, you do get a sense that you lose track of days. Because if you go to sleep and then wake up, you say, okay, that's, that's the next day. But if you're doing that in the same day, you just sort of take a, like, like a four-hour nap, it seems like... Everything was yesterday, but it, it really wasn't. So that's where a large chunk of the confusion comes in. Is the, 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 it's the time scale, and I don't. Have, I'm not under pressure here to have a long conversation because uh, I have to run an errand tomorrow, and you're going to come with me on my e-scooter, and so I'll take you out there. Uh, the camera's uh, recharged and ready to go. I'm sort of getting uh, everything organized. And then I'm gonna watch some. I'm gonna watch some cartoons and have a bowl of cereal before I go rest a little bit. Before I have to leave my place around ten o'clock, ten ten thirty, because I have deliveries coming in after that. So uh, that's about about four and a half hours worth of sleep if if if, if I if I calculate things correctly.
taking it to our destination. We're gonna drop off a package. I forgot I was recording. <laughs> so you get more on the way back. bike off. Mm, let's get the camera off. Well, no such luck at the post office anyways. Back to my place. Actually, my, my, my parents' house. That's where we're going next. Thank you. 
lot, uh, I think a lot's going to have to cut up because my mind is going a million, a million miles a minute. The whole thing I have to do with the one label she could have printed, one label she could have printed for a buck she wouldn't print. Anyways, and they had a printer there. All I had to do was email the printer, but and email her the label, but she wouldn't do that. So I'm on my way to my parents' house to do that. There's a post office by there, so uh, no biggie. I just simply uh, do the label at my at my house and then go uh, to the post office. That's right around the corner, so that's not a big issue. It just takes time out of your day. Some people are very helpful and others not so much. So I know they're a smaller post office. Uh, they don't have as many people running the post office. So I think next time I go to the one at uh, uh, at uh, Woodbine where, where my shopping my shopping center is uh, TNT. They have a good uh, uh, post office there that's uh, very responsive, uh, and they go the extra mile. And that's kind of, I guess, just the job done. But they're in the, uh, they're in an industrial area, so uh, they probably get a lot of business anyways. She says she does 200 labels a day, so uh, given the year, I sort of see that. So she doesn't need any more, you know, a dollar more is not going to make a difference in terms of paying a dollar for printing a label. <laughs> Anyways, this is the opening vlog. Oh, not the opening. We did the opening vlog already. This is the extra scooting vlog. With extra travel footage. More than I had initially intended, anyways. Gotta fix my helmet up. This is what the sun visor is for. I'm traveling into the sun now. It just takes extra time out of your day. And there's supposed to be a delivery today. Hopefully I'll get there before then. Usually the deliveries don't come in till around noon, one o'clock, and it's significantly before then, so we got more than enough time. Well, I'm definitely going to have some extra B-roll footage, that's for sure. Ah, there's a junior high here. I didn't realize that it was a junior high. Of course, everyone's kind of closed because of COVID. Oops, shouldn't have said that word because every time you say the word, it triggers a response from Google to put up information about you know, the chronic gas problem. Yeah, we're call that's what we're calling it now to avoid the issue. We're calling the C word, the disease, we're calling it chronic gas. The chronic gas is also a disorder, a disease, if you will. So, we're calling it chronic gas. Yeah, this is the great park panic of 2020. It's now officially in the books. <laughs> Fixing my helmet and visor is was a, a better thing to do. The helmet's uh, sort of is not loose, but loose enough. It fits the hel head very well, so it doesn't really actually move around. You have to move it to move it around. So when I'm inside a place and I want to move the visor, I'll just simply move the helmet back. And when I came out of the uh, store, the convenience store where the, where the uh, 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 post office was. I had moved my, I, had, I didn't properly remove my, 
helmet back so that the visor was properly in place. So that became an issue as I was driving, particularly when I hit down, came down here and I had the sun in my eyes. That's neither here nor there. Uh, I've got the helmet down now and the sun visor is doing its job, protecting my eyes from the sun. From the, uh, from the sun. It's still a morning sun. It hasn't gotten, it's not a noonday, it's a new day. Noon, a noonday sun. I trip over words sometimes. That's the reality of things. If I look, look at vloggers who always edit their videos, and then when they're doing a live, that's when all the goofs and gaps and everything come out. Because they're live, they can't uh, edit out the mistakes. But what happens is if you don't edit out your mistakes, you continue rolling along. Uh, the more vlogs you do like this, the better you get at it. There are always going to be some days where you're going to flub things and not really necessarily get the uh, the words out the way you want to get them out. But typically, things do improve as you begin to speak. And no, no, I'm out. I'm out. In, I'm out in the in the air, the open air like this. I'm on the scooter, uh, on the scooter, and I'm not yawning. There's no need to yawn. Yawning is primarily indoors, so maybe it has to do something to do with the quality of the, the, uh, the depletion of oxygen in the air. Maybe some of the maybe there's some extra uh, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide in the air that uh, uh, produces the yawning. Because I'm on the bike, I'm on the scooter, I should say, I should say. and uh, no yawning. My nose is running. It's not COVID. I should say not chronic gas. I've got the sniffles. I've got chronic gas. I've got no taste. I've got chronic gas. Now ironically enough, when you have no taste, what specifically do you mean? I mean, no taste in decoration, no taste in uh, how you dress, uh, no taste in uh, <laughs> in uh, the type of food you eat. You don't just eat anything, regardless of the taste. You don't taste your food; you just wolf it down, and you know, basically, you open it, you open your mouth, you open your jaw. A large vortex forms sucks everything in. Kind of like a black hole. There's no taste. <laughs> well, this is certainly turning into a travel vlog. I think I'm going to end it here, because this is enough, I've got enough footage. back on the road again. I guess this is what a lot of the vloggers do when they travel or go shopping or run errands. <laughs> they vlog bits and pieces so this is going to be cut up into uh, segments of the trip. So the next stop is uh, the post office from whence we came. Dig that out, more traffic. We have to do a full stop. I guess it will 
will give me some form of opportunity to have some view of extra footage that you can put in the scenery and uh, between the talking and the so on and so forth. Although I don't edit my vlog, there's not that much uh, room for B-roll, but uh, this will give me more. Very up the footage. Nice fall colors here. Although it's rather warm up today. Typically I come at night so it's not as busy, but uh, this will be a new experience, another first. I have to roll up the steel case in order to uh, not make this end up working out. And steel case back again to uh, the post office, that's the one that's closest to me. So that's how we'll do things.
because it does take me a bit of time to get going. You always stop well back, you don't go right up the bumper. This gives me a little more starting off room. Uh, I think it's better for the flow of traffic as well. I'm tempted to try the next gear up, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. I'm making good enough time. I don't have to be back in my place until about noon. That's when the deliveries start coming in. But I left the front door open, so it's not going to really matter. They know. They know. I've got uh, several safe drop places uh, where they can drop them to, uh, the uh, packages. Up. So we're going to have another pack, a package opening today as well. So it's going to be uh, a bit of a lengthy uh, video, a vlog.
I think it's going to be another month before I get up to 30 kilometers an hour. position so a little far forward and so my butt's starting to hurt. Ugh, correct that at the lights if you get stopped. the bus. Didn't get the stop, so no seat correction. get a bit of a seat correction so not as bad on the butt.
drivers of the small cars, the smaller trucks, they're the ones with the problems. The other guys need to put uh, a good, uh, a good uh, angle, a good uh, distance in terms of passing. Five seconds before the light changes. on the butt, you know, in other words, you're sitting too far forward, that's when the pain begins. Uh, if you're properly back in the, on the cushion and on the springs, uh, no pain. And for most of Victoria Park, I was on the front part. up on a month in November on a Friday. So that's pretty cool. I am enjoying it. I said I made it back. I uh, made it to here. Back to my parents' house and my house. That's where I my old home. Still go there a lot. And back up here again and we're still we're still doing very well. The uh, total range of the scooter should be 60 kilometers. I notice some dimming of the speed, but not much. The notice on the pickup, the note where you notice it, is if you're on an uphill, that's where you notice the uh, speed difference. But for me, it looks like I'm going, I'm going about 25 kilometers an hour. So not bad in, 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 in the total terms of things. Of course, it'll be oof, the plastics coming out of that one. Kind of tasty. Smell and 
taste go together. Made in the session, there's a uh, taco stand. Looks like we should get a change in light soon. There's a uh, do not walk signal, so. Oh, here we go. I'm taking all right turns as much as a po as much as possible until I get up. I, I, I have the ability to get up to speed rather quickly. Right now, I don't. I don't have that capacity. So uh, you stay in the right lane. You take right turns as much as possible. It's not that much in terms of the distance and time. It's not that much. I, for me, it's, I would say it's negligible. We're not helping so it's slowing down a little bit, but uh, we're back at the post office. Okay, we're going off for now. Well, we are done, and we are on our way home, back to our place. And hopefully, we've we'll made it there. We'll make it there before the mail delivery. That's where the key thing is. So these people are all going right lane, left lane, so chance to get out here. Yeah, stop for the back from the truck because they roll backwards.
up. We're in the home stretch. And for the most part, a large chunk of the industrial places are back to work again. It's the smaller businesses like restaurants. If you don't have takeout, you're dead. It's that simple. Like I know the restaurants in my neighborhood and one of my friends was a restaurant. Uh, takeout really makes his business. Don't take out his system, his, 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 his uh, restaurant would have died. And so that's something I always need to consider that takeout should always be an option for every restaurant if you want to stay in business and uh, takeout is going to be one of the necessities. my first errand run on the scooter in terms of this. This is uh, it's not necessarily a road trip in terms of uh, pleasure's sake here for going out for dinner. And all that. But, uh, nonetheless, so these are the bad guys that cut, that come in, that cut in quickly. They don't give you enough room. That's bad driving. Typically, it's a, simply an issue of, uh, of patience. I think some of the road trips somewhere I might be practicing, uh, but the higher speeds will be here. Uh, it's quiet at night. There's a, a railroad track right around the corner. I, I like looking at the trains. So that should be a fun thing to do for me. And a way to get practice. But we'll see. It always depends on time, how much time you have. You don't have a lot of time to Stop. Well, the getting off isn't that bad. I was able to get things adjusted much faster than I did before. Not that good, but in terms of the very slippery, no grip on that. So I've got to wash those manholes. Because at 50 kilometers an hour, that's going to be a wipeout. And that's the whole thing is, is that it's an issue of being able to go through someone's tar in the room. It's more of an issue of trying to sort of stay in control as, you, as you're going along. And what happens is that you, you just, you, the skill that you need, it needs to be there so that you can handle if something goes wrong. That's where the issue is. If something goes wrong. At 55 at 50 kilometers an hour, if it's 55, if something goes wrong, do you know how to how to handle it? Do you know how to protect yourself from, uh, from, from a potential fall or, or something like that? That's the issue at, at 55, 50 and 55. It's warm out, the sun's ahead of me, we're just at the noonday sun. There we go. Did we get a light? Yeah, we get a light.